Hi everybody, it's Kitty Ray. Um, today I'm doing a cat look. This look was requested. Um, someone sent me some pictures, um, or actually a link to a video, which I will put that link in the sidebar so y'all can check it out. And he wanted he wanted me to just he wanted me to kind of do my own thing though, not just copy it. Um, so this is my recreation of the kitty cat face look called what jungle kitty or something like that um but yeah i have the glitter in here because they had some glitter in it they had the leopard spots um i just felt like doing it all cutesy and girly oh can you see my ears i made these little ears um got the spots on the spots on the neck you know i made the little whiskers out of fishing line and black paint um, but yeah, I wanted it to be a cute little girly kitty cat. Um, gosh. So, I hope you guys, um, like this look. I don't really know. Um, who requested it, I really hope you like it. Um, I like it, so... Uh, but no, um, if you guys want to see how I get my kitty cat look, then stay tuned. First, I'm going to start by covering my brows. Um, I'm just taking spirit gum and just a clean um, mascara wand. And I'm just going to apply the spirit gum to my brows. I'm just really pressing them down really flat. It's pretty tacky. Now I'm actually taking some of the nose and scar wax. Um, I'm just taking like a popsicle stick. Okay, now it's on pretty good. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the spirit gum remover, just like a little bit on your finger, and it just kind of smooths the wax and everything out. I mean, just like a little, if you can even see it. We just want that wax to blend in smoothly with your skin so it's not too clumpy. Now I'm going to go back with the spirit gum. And just apply a layer on top of the wax. Okay, we're just going to let that dry. Okay, the spirit gum's pretty much all the way dry. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the remover again, just on my fingertips, just to smooth it out on the skin. Okay, then I'm just going to dust a little bit of my um, Makeup Forever uh, HD powder. Powder, powder. Just to kind of set it, help it dry. Okay, that's pretty good. So, next I'm taking my Ben Nye Clown White, and I'm just going to cover my whole face with this white. Be very gentle when going over the brows. You don't want to mess them up. Okay, and then where it's going to be the widest um, parts, which is going to be around the nose in this area, just add more of the clown white. Okay, so we have the white on. So next, I'm just going to set this with the HD powder just all over okay 
So next, I'm going to draw out my nose outline. And since this area is going to be pink and purple, I'm going to be using my Glam Girl from Glamour Doll Eyes. It's the purple. And I'm just going to be using my 209, I think. Yeah, 209 from Sigma SS209. Okay, so I have the outline on. So I'm just taking my 275 and I'm staying with the Glam Girl. And I'm just going to kind of slowly fade this purple in. After we have the Glam Gal, Glam Girl, I keep calling it Glam Gal. After we have the Glam Girl on, we are going to go with the Pinky Swear. And we're just going to fade the pinky swear in towards the white. We're getting it really good on this nostril because we're trying to disguise the nose. We don't want the nose just to be white and then it is your nose and it won't look kitty cat like. Okay, now after the pinky swear, we're going to go ahead and put Juicy Mango. It's an orange, but it has like a pink hue, so it'll, it'll blend. And I'm using my 217 again. So next we are doing Sterling Glitz from Glamour Doll Eyes. We're just going to put that on the white. Using... My 217. Okay. So right now we're going to be done with the mouth. And we're going to move on to the outer area. 